What's going on everybody? Tywin here bringing you my thoughts on Infinity Blade 3 and the freemium effect. The gameplay in the background has nothing whatsoever to do with what I'm talking about today. It is merely just recycled gameplay that is not laggy. I was able to record this using display recorder while my 4S was jailbroken. I now have upgraded to the 5S. I do not have a jailbreak. Air server, air server is a little punk. Doesn't want to work and makes my gameplay laggy so i went and got some old gameplay as you'll see i have virtually no money virtually no chips but that's all good uh because what matters today is what i'm going to talk about and that is the freemium feel of infinity blade 3. now if you guys remember if you played infinity blade 2 they did bring the introduced timers in infinity blade 2 to the gem forge people didn't call people didn't cry foul though in infinity blade 2 because the gem forge um could be easily sped up or finished by just beating a blood sentinel or really just dying um and rebirthing but it also could be sped up by uh gold you could use gold to speed up the gem forge infinity blade 2 you could use gold to not only speed up the forge you could use gold to master items if you wanted to master some low-end items you had enough gold you could do that now in infinity blade 3 we have two currencies we have gold at the top and we have battle chips at the bottom on the up, up there on the currencies now if you want to use prize wheels buy potions buy keys buy ingredients for the potion master or if you want to master weapons instantly you have to use battle chips and battle chips are not easy to come by in the beginning they're pretty easy as you're completing the different achievements you can rack up a few thousand very easily but after that it kind of gets harder to get them maybe clash mobs will bring us more battle chips but i really doubt it because no matter what chair says on the matter and they haven't said much i will go to the grave believing that battle chips were meant to push in-app purchases i don't care what anyone says recently um i saw on the forums from a epic game employee that implementing a currency ratio so that means implementing a system where we could use gold to buy battle chips would quote break the currency translation of break the currency means we won't make any money from in-app purchases that is what that meant um and no i don't think i'm being too pessimistic i know in my heart and i can tell from the design of this game that chair, maybe they were pushed through it by Epic or the or the or the majority shareholders or the voting powers of the corporate board. But someone, somewhere in Epic Games hierarchy, hierarchy, higher, whatever, screw that word. Somewhere in the higher ups <laughs> of Epic Games, they ask chair to push the in-app purchase because that's where they make all their money now i wouldn't mind the iaps so much in infinity blade 3 had the game been a free to play game the double currencies would have made sense spending money on battleships would have made sense but instead they charge us seven us dollars for this game and then they turn around and want to gouge us for more money for battle chips that you need to do some of the most basic tasks like master an item or speed up a timer. Now you don't have to use you don't have to use battle chips, which is the argument Chair will make why this is not a freemium type currency because you don't have to use it to enjoy the game. You don't need it, but the game you kind of do hit a wall. Of upgrading items a few hours into the game because you can only upgrade one at first one item at a time and then eventually two items at a time but two items when you have over 300 items to upgrade um, 
is not a lot. And if you play this game legit uh, with no IAP purchases, it will take you several several months, probably three to four months to max out everything playing just a couple hours a day. You know, if you play if you play twenty four seven for thirty one days straight, you could hit you could hit every single uh, upgrade to level ten. But that is unrealistic, and who has the time for that? Anyway, for those of us humans who do not have the ability to stay away 24-7 for a month straight and don't want to hack, save our battle chips, <clears throat> we have to either slowly and methodically upgrade our items or spend our hard-earned cash on in-app purchases. Those are our two options. Granted, beating an act or dying to a boss of an act does speed up the forge by however long it takes to rebirth flesh to awaken but even so on the high level items going from 8 to 9 or 9 to 10 it takes a day it takes basically a day 21 to 24 hours so say you grinded act 5 which speeds the forge almost uh, just shy of 5 hours, 4 hours and 45 minutes each time you would die to Radriar or to the God King, you could speed the forge about 5 hours. You still would need to do that 5 times. And depending on how long it takes to do that act, it's not a short act, it's not like Act 3 which you can run through in 5 minutes. Uh, you still need to play a lot, a hell of a lot, to upgrade all your items to level 10. The other approach, I guess, is just pick your favorite items, get them to level 10, and then use gems to make yourself stronger instead of leveling up. But a lot of us, especially myself, Tam L, Sab, we hardcore new game players, we like to level up. And I know I, for one, am missing the new game mechanic. <clears throat> leveling up using the upgraded weapons is just not the same um, but they're, but anyway all that aside battle chips are here to stay they're not going to change them I have been in talks with someone at chair um, giving some suggestions perhaps of how they could tweak it in the future but I was more or less told the battle chips will stay they will stay forever uh, they may implement something like a potion or a gem that can speed up the forge even more. Um, I also suggested suggested to them maybe tying the forge time with the awakening number. So at high rebirths it wouldn't take as long to upgrade an item so it, we wouldn't have to spend as many uh, levels grinding on uh, using mastered gear. So like if we were say 200 Awakening 200 or higher, it could knock off an hour or two off the forge time. Something to that effect. I'm not sure exactly how it would work, but there are ways that they could tweak this. So it wouldn't feel so much like we paid $7 for a game that should have been free because it acts like a freemium game. Now, this I will say this game is not as bad as the game loft games that charge you anywhere from a dollar to $6 and then have items that can only or weapons that can only be bought using gems uh, but <clears throat> I guess Wild Blood I'm thinking of Wild Blood is a freemium game a premium game that acts like a freemium because there are you pay seven dollars and just like Infinity Blade 3 health potions you have to use gems the only way to get gems really in that game is in that purchases you can find you can find gems doing certain quests every now and then but usually you can't find them unless you spend more real money infinity blade 3 is like that because all the potions now cost battle chips which is their version of gems um luckily for us there are ways to earn battle chips no, really like doing the cha battle chip challenges doing trials and clash mobs eventually when they become live uh, but it's still, it's, it's on the border of being almost a price gouging freemium tactic. 
and I don't like it. I don't like to see that in my Infinity Blade. Um, if they had the timers in one currency, it would be totally different. It would just be like Infinity Blade 2, and we could just spend gold to speed up the timers if we had the gold. The thing is, Chair made this game in a way that gold, especially at high rebirths, becomes very, very attainable. I have a couple times reached 100 million gold and then I spent it on weapon upgrading. So gold is plentiful. They made gold plentiful, but they made battleships scarce. I would much rather have them have made gold balanced and had just one currency. Uh, but I know why they I know why they made battleships, even if they don't admit this, it was because of the gold glitches. Infinity Blade 2 had that awesome gold glitch in the store. Um, and to avoid people just spending using the gold glitch to max out their character, they introduced battleships. Um, there is still a gold glitch I have on my channel. For Infinity Blade 3, a really good gold glitch, but it doesn't help us with the battleship. It will help us never be poor and always be able to afford the upgrades, but really it's unnecessary because if you saw my my video on how to make gold legit, um, it's really easy to make a lot of gold in Infinity Blade 3 even without glitching, although the glitch is a pretty cool trick, I must say. So I want to digress for one second here to talk about the Infinity Blade forums. I was on there joking how the Spectrum Defense Gem in Infinity Blade 2 is overpowered and a noob gem because it, it allows you to, to use heavy without any skill. I was, I was, only half, I was half joking. It, it kind of is overpowered, makes heavy, and especially light, really easy. You can just hold down block like a retard and win. Um, heavy, at least you have to choose the correct direction, but still, it, it's very overpowered and it, it makes it very, very, very easy to play with heavy. Um, but anyway, so I was on there joking around and then some guy got all offended. His his screen name is Lord Brid or Lord Bird. I don't even know it. It doesn't even matter to me because he's a noob who has no skill. But I found it very funny. He called me disrespectful and a snot-nosed noob and told me to respect the other forum members. Um, <laughs> He joined in September 2013, so he clearly doesn't know who I am or my reputation on the forum, but I was rolling on the floor laughing. I could barely type a response to him. It was so freaking funny. Oh, it's just making me laugh just thinking about it, that guy. And then he made a guide about how to level your character or something. I don't even know. I didn't even read it because, honestly, he's a, <laughs> he hasn't proven himself to me. Uh, most of you guys watching this channel are probably better than that player who came out of nowhere. So, anyway, that was random. What was I talking about? I totally lost my train of thought now. Oh yeah, the free meme effect. I don't know what else to say besides I hope Cher uh, nerfs it a little bit, makes it easier to get battleships, gives us some good clash mods with high battleship rewards. But honestly, if you use all the tips that I'm giving you to get gold, all the tips that Sab and Tam L are given on how to beat the enemies and check in out check out Soldier for Good. He has some really good videos. Use everything that we're giving you on our channels and the Infinity Blade Masters channel and you're not gonna ever have to spend a dime on battle chips. You don't even need battle chips if you use all the techniques that we're bringing you and the ones that we'll continue to discover and continue to bring you. So I guess the point of my rambling in this video is that I understand the hate of the free meme effect and the battle chips and the timers and I hate it just as much as you guys but there are ways to get around it there are ways to minimize it and if you want to find out all those ways make sure you're subscribed to me time on the vial make sure you're subscribed to soldier for good make sure you're subscribed to sab over at infinity blade fans subscribe to tam l channel she is one of the best uh, Infinity Blade players that I know, uh, and sat and and uh, sub of course to Infinity Blade Masters. It's it's me, Sab, Tam, uh, Soldier, and Operation Idroid. We run this channel to help you guys learn how to play the game and get better at Infinity Blade Three. Um, it's comprised of 
some of the best players that I have had the pleasure of knowing. And there are lots of good players on the Infinity Blade forums, despite all the new members who don't always know what they're talking about popping up making a, a new thread about the same topic like every single day which bugs the hell out of me but that will die down as as hype in the game dies down and some of the the more veteran members like tam sab uh possibly silver i don't know pr gab uh vile majesty they'll start popping up more um, after the madness dies down, I try to. I've I've been trying to keep up with everyone who joined and all their threads and help them along, but it's it's too much. It's too much craziness. And when someone over there calls me a noob, it doesn't make me really want to help them. So I'll help you guys here instead on YouTube, because you guys are way cooler than the new. Uh, well, some of the new members of the Infinity Blade forums, and I know a lot of you guys probably are members of the forums. And if you're cool. I'm not talking about you. I'm just talking about the ones that aren't cool, like Lord Bird or Lord Brid or whatever his name is. Uh, anyway, that's my rant. I'm just rambling. I hope you guys are still watching. If not, it doesn't even really matter. Point is, screw freemium. Screw chair for making us deal with freemium type model in a premium game. And yeah. That is my rant. It is going on way too long. I'm going to have to cut it out here. I'm just going to let you guys enjoy watching the end of the video. Until next time, everyone, this is Ty Win. Peace.
remember to subscribe for great iOS gaming content and to follow me on Twitter.